Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Impact Play, impacting more than just gaming. I'm your show host and team leader, Mohammed, otherwise known as It's Yagoo. We are your one-stop news shop for the latest and greatest across gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, and music. Plus we also amplify voices from those from respective fields. And having your stories, stories told here on the Impact Play, excuse me. The support keeps our lights running and keeps that content coming. You can support us over anchor at the FM backslash the McPlay backslash support. We're tier two supporters and above. Get exclusive content, including the post show, getting the show ad free, and more. Or you can even support us by using our big credit code, the McPlay. We are Epic Partners, so if every purchase you make one within that credit code, uh, either on Fortnite, Fall Guys, or just anything within the Epic Store, will help us support us in a brand new way. And no extra cost to you. But this is the MMA Play Spoiler Cast, episode 211, where we will be reviewing Dragon Ball Super Super Heroes. So stay tuned and enjoy. I already folks saw so th this. I, I was gonna, the, the original plan was to do it as a review cast, and I thought about it. I'm like, I'm gonna be talking like the plots and the characters and, and just the baseline of the movie, so I'll just make it into a spoiler cast. Which has been a while, but nonetheless, this spoiler cast will be a ton exclusive where two tier two supporters and above get first dibs on this content and much, much more. If you're interested in becoming a supporter, you can just simply join a Discord and everything's laid out laid out there for you. But nonetheless, I did have it. Uh, I had the opportunity to finally watch Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Uh, yesterday, I'm on my way home, I because it was National Cinema Day. And then in, I just looked at my uh, local theaters, and the only one that was uh, lo uh, close to me was my, my local Regal. So like, you know what, let me go in, uh, let, let me go on the app and see if... Because uh, I, I know they... Because uh, I was checking the day before where they, they, had, they were, where they were uh, showing it late. So I was able to watch it and enjoy it. There was barely anybody there, which was fine. But yeah... Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I guess we'll we'll this we'll do the spoiler cast into two parts. The first part will be kind of a re a normal review cast, and then the second part we'll be discussing the movie itself uh, for the spoiler cast. Uh, so I did enjoy it, but the the shocker that it, that 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 literally that shocked me the most. Was the animation style? I'm like, what in the world is this art style? I'm like, what? And like, not just that, but as the uh, as the normal fights because it because that's literally what Dragon Ball is, is all about. Through each through, uh, through each blow, you could hear it clank either through a fist, knee, foot, metal, or what have you. Like you could you could hear the exact. Uh, the exact clash, and like that, that, that was that was a good thing about it. And it also did like throughout each uh, move, almost there was like almost a a more of a three D because the anim the anime the art style was like a three D art style, but then throughout each clash as well, it was like uh, it was like out of a comic book essentially. And then the, there were moments where it, it showed, like, throughout, like, sp special moves, like, with, like, special effects, what have you, like, how a comic book uh, art style do does. It did it like that. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so the story was nice. It finally connected a bridge from a previous film. Uh yeah, so do I have anything else for the the regular review cast? Uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, before, like before I get into the, the uh, spoilers, so I guess we'll leave it as that. So if you guys are interested in uh, the spoiler cast, or you guys uh, haven't watched it and want to watch the film first, uh, before sh uh, you guys, I, uh, I would suggest pausing this now and coming back to this. After you already watched the film, that is my recommendation. If you guys are interested in watching it, you could go ahead. 
time we're going to go into the spoiler. Uh, the second part spoiler version of this spoiler cast. But before we do, you, this episode of the MMA Play is sponsored by Audible. You can sign up for your free 30-day trial and immediately get access to one credit. And if you have Amazon Prime, get access to two credits. And it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audibletrial.com backslash the McBlay. Once again, that URL is audibletrial.com backslash the impact play. Alrighty, fucks, it's time for your second part. Uh, spoiler edition. So, the movie was phenomenal. Like I said, in the in the first half, the animation and the the, the art style just threw me off because I didn't expect that. They didn't even sh show that in um, the previous, the the last film, which is Broly. The re the reboot, uh, uh, the reversion of Broly. I'm like, what the heck? Like they changed it completely. I'm like, what? They like threw, threw me off I, I, as soon as they started the film. I'm like, well, what? Because they started actually no, they started the film has a history of um, from the original Dragon Ball anime. So Goku uh, as a little kid destroying the Red Ribbon Army, then it flashed back into Cell, and what have you. And then I'm like, and then what was the nice part is the con the neck the connection or the bridge was with, with the previous film was the last film was Broly. So they actually connected that together. So it was like Goku and Vegeta training on uh, Lord Beerus' planet with Whis. Pretty the usual, right? And who was the third trainee? Broly. I'm like, ah, oh, finally. They finally did that connection. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> it's about time. That's what I was happy to see. That was the connection. Uh, so literally, it's like nostalgia. And then, like, anyway, it's just so good. <laughs> But yeah, uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. uh, I forgot, I forgot where I was. Like, I, like my mind was just so focused on only one part of the film. <laughs> All right, uh, so they were training on uh, on Luis's planet. So I guess we'll get to, we'll get into the points that I want to make at the at the end of this towards the end. But nonetheless, we'll get into. We're, we're not gonna like do, like discuss the film itself. But I'm gonna discuss the points that I enjoyed the most, or that you know, those uh, ma major po plot uh, plot lines. Uh, so the Red Ribbon Army, as we know, has been uh, revamped, reintroduced. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Has been brought back. I guess you could say, uh, with a new leader. Uh, let me see if I get if, if I could find his name. Um, uh, does it say his name over here? I was trying to find the character list beforehand. Uh, let me see if I could find it. Because when I saw him, he looked like um, he looked like the guy that was uh. From from the original Dragon Ball anime, where he hires uh, what's this guy's name, the master assassin that Goku defeats like twice. <laughs> uh, I forgot his name. He looks almost like him. Uh, let me see, soldier, preschool teacher. Uh, let me see, Gamma, Gamma two, we. What's Carmine? Pen. Like, yeah, like you would think that it's under the main cast because he's like he's the the new leader of the Red Ribbon Army, but it's like so weird. Okay, let me let me look into this further. Like it's weird. Um. Hmm. Yeah, even this doesn't show me anything. Producers, production company, script. Oh, here it is. Hold on. No, that's French cast. Uh, English cast. Okay, Goku, Magenta. I think that might be. Who's Magenta? Hold on. Magenta, Dragon Ball. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. 
Oh, he's the son of Commander Red. Really? Let me see. Roger. Come on. You're kidding me. Really? Honestly, hold on. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So he's a magenta. Is his name is the new leader of the Red Army. Is the son of apparently Commander Red. What I thought he was. Let me see. Let me, let me look into this. Dragon Ball Master. Uh, what's his name? Mercenary Tao. The one who hired him. Um, uh, let me see. Who hires him back in Dragon Ball? Let me see. Cover appearance. Was it Commander Red that hired him? Sort of think. Dragon Ball, Red River Army, uh, film appearances. Let's see. Let me see. Let me look into something. Who hires how? Is it just a rider of an army? Because I remember there was somebody that was collecting the Dragon Balls uh, later. Let me see. And God, it gives me Atlanta. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm getting this rider of an army. I, had a f I have a feeling that it's somebody else. Let me see something. Let me look into this other website. Character profile. I don't care about his abilities. I know his abilities. Um. Hey, let's let's play Dragon Ball Z. Cause he's like part cyborg in Dragon Ball Z. Let me get in this Reddit thing. This Reddit thread. Uh, Yeah, this is useless. So anyone, if anyone knows, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Once this video is made publicly on YouTube or in the reviews, or just or just send us a uh, Rudy mail. We'll get we'll get get to that at the, at the end of the show. So I guess we'll get into the main line of the show. Wow. <laughs> um. Uh, so he, uh, Doctor, what's his name? Herata. Let me see. Uh, doctor, doctor, doctor. Doctor Hedo, which is the grandson of Doctor Jerome, was in prison for, I believe, about a month because he made these zombie-like androids uh, to work in a, in, a, in a convenience store just to do like a test run. Uh, so literally, he tricked them. 
into into working for the Red Room Army and creating these androids, which are are uh, Gamma One and Gamma Two. So, so essentially, uh, he created androids, and then there's this new uh, version of Cell Max, which is like almost the size, maybe even bigger than than, than the size of a building. Uh, so literally, they do uh, Vegeta. So literally, the only ones that are left to protect the Earth are Piccolo, Gohan, Goats and Trunks, Krillin, uh, Android 18, and just the game Android. So essentially, uh, like I said, uh, Dr. Harata were tricked. So essentially, in turn, the, the, gamma, uh, the Gammas were tricked as well. So as time progresses, what have you, uh, they they learn they 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 were tricked saying that uh, a capsule corporation w w w was a quote unquote evil organization, which we know the Red Army is the evil organization. And working with the aliens, okay, doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Literally, it doesn't mean anything. But yeah, uh, so towards the end, he he releases Cell Max, which is. Uh, so you guys remember Broly, Bio Broly? So this, that's essentially what what Cell Max is. Uh, like this loses control, but doesn't have any, uh, doesn't have, uh, barely has any of the abilities as his uh, previous iteration. So he doesn't have uh, healing and what have you. But he had a major weakness, which is if you hit him hard enough on his head, there will be a chain reaction and then he'll just explode. That's essentially what they were trying to do. Uh, and what have you. So, as soon as we, because we saw, uh, before the film came out, we saw hints of that Gohan is, uh, the Gohan might be the lead. And we saw him in, in, Pic in Piccolo's original training outfit. The same training outfit that Piccolo uses. So, he, <laughs> it was, because uh, Piccolo's always picking up Pan. So one of these days, he knocked on his window, like, what are you doing training all day? He's supposed to be picking up your daughter. <laughs> you can't wait, daughter. Of course I do. So he looked at him, he was all scrolling, what have you. So what did he do? He put, he gave him one of his training outfits, like, oh, deal with that. It looks like you're getting scrawny and what have you. But it, but but what it turned out is Gohan is actually so was training in secret because towards the end, he, so there, uh, the, I want to make these points too. So we're getting towards the end of the sh end, of the, end of the film. Uh, Gohan has a new transformation, as well as Piccolo. So we, uh, before Piccolo, uh, I guess Piccolo went to the tower, asked Shenron to unlock his lane power, which was an upgrade from Dende. So apparently he didn't have much, but he also gave Piccolo a quote unquote something, oh, he also gave him something extra, which we find out later on what that extra is. It's essentially a... A, transform a, a transformation uh, that Piccolo finally gets, which is great because we've seen Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, 3, Blue, uh, Ultra Instinct, and what have you. But Piccolo finally gets a new transformation, which he transforms into. Uh, how should I say this? Uh, I guess I'll show you. Give me a second. Let me look. Let me get it. Let me go into images. Let me pull it up real quick. Uh, where's Piccolo's? Piccolo's new form. I guess that's a better one. All right. So I'll showcase this image for, oh, it already changed. Okay, I don't have to do anything much. All right, nice, display capture. Let me get rid of this ad. Okay, that's Pickles' uh, new form. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. He like, he changed completely. So that's the something extra <laughs> that, that Sharon gave him. I'm like, whoa. So he pretty much called that orange piccolo. 
And then, uh, let me see. This is a show Gohan's, Gohan also has a new ability as well, so let me look this up as well. Hold on, let me go here. Hold on, go back. Hey, oh wait. Uh, let's go to Gohan. Oh, here it is. Ugh, I gotta change it. Gohan. Hero. Gohan's new form. <laughs> so essentially, when he as he was transforming, it looked like. Hold on. Let me let me do this real quick. Let me go to Google. Let me open up another thingy. Let me have future trunks. Raging. Blue. Form. If you guys remember from Dragon Ball Super, uh, uh, Future Trunks, when he came back the second time, his uh, rage blew form. So it, it looked like as Gohan was transforming, he looked like something like this. So I assumed he was, he was going to get the, he was going to like this form as well. But he went a step above and beyond, which you combine this form with almost Ultra Instinct, which I'm going to. I'm gonna get to momentarily. Hold on. Let me see if I can find that. There you go. I'm like, what? And you could look at his eyes, his aura. His eyes were like red. So I'm like, can you see it? No, I think you can see it more here. Yeah, you can see it more here. Longbook.com. Come on, give me the photo. His eyes were red and his aura was like purple. And the, and the funny thing is, he even said it at the end of the tournament that he's gonna work on unlocking a new form that has nothing to do with Super Saiyan. But he said when Super Saiyan in this new film, which I'm like, did he just say something? He wanted to focus on something, but yet he still do it anyways, huh? <laughs> so I guess I don't. I guess we'll have to wait for the new season of Dragon Ball Super. Hopefully, it will make. It, uh, the the previous two films canon to the to the next uh, to the new season of Dragon Ball Super, which we'll see them hopefully discuss and what have you. And then towards uh, towards and then he uses his special beam Chen instead of a Kamehameha wave to de defeat Cell Max. But yeah, and then uh, oh yeah, the, uh, also the next the, the, another thing that I was excited to see we saw an older version of uh, Goten and Trunks. So, so I knew we were gonna we were gonna see Gotenks, but the problem is, the first time no was it the first time no it was the their second attempt of fusion when they were kids it was the bloated version of Gotenks. I'm like really you, you guys missed it up and I wanted to see Gotenks uh, as he was an adult and he just missed it up he, he was that fat blob. So the uh, the the funny thing is so they they used that opportunity because you know as every time he would move he's out of breath. So everyone uh, started hitting him as a as a ping pong ball, and then hitting him on the head of Cell to see if, if that would do that chain reaction, to, which would hopefully implode his entire body, but it didn't. But yeah, so so I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna discuss the whole the whole movie because that's not the point of the spoiler, guys. Just to, just so we can have a discussion. But yeah, like literally, I just ha I just had to talk about it, the like the certain points of the film. And what have you. But yeah. So as uh, a rating. Uh, as a rating, what should I give it? Like the only thing that's not getting... That that I'm like I'm, I don't want to give uh, I don't really want to give it a rating because I want to see where where this film leads into the Dragon the Dragon Ball Super anime. Hopefully it'll become canon. That's my only. That's the only thing that I'm that I'm having a a little uh, uh, having a pick with. That I'm like unsure. But this film did connect both films, which I enjoyed. Uh, we saw some new forms, and then we also saw Boma trying to reach Whis to bring Goku and Vegeta back home, which they did in the Frieza film, and also in the beginning of Dragon Ball Super as well. They, 
It was the same thing where Frieza came back to Earth. Oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to raise as well. Another thing. So, Weez has the ability to, to uh, move place to place, but it takes him longer than instant transmission. But Goku can't use instant transmission unless he has like a strong energy level to locate. But, Cell Max, the guy, the guy, Gamas don't have power, don't have power levels or androids. Uh, so Max, and then Gohan's new ability, even Pickle's new ability. But yet, you, you, you could, none of them could feel that as, as apparently they were training on, on uh, Lord Beerus's planet. That's the thing. I'm like, you, you get like he could locate Broly from light years away, but yet he can't find. But yeah, he couldn't feel Gohan's new power. Gohan's new 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 power level, and he and that power level was huge. Pickles new 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 transformation, or even Cell Max. Cell Max, like Cell Max, could uh, it could be a hit or a miss because because he because he is uh, essentially an android, so we don't know if he ha actually has a power level because he doesn't have he like he didn't have none of the cells as his previous uh, iteration. So, like, some acts, I guess we, we don't have to count, but Piccolo and Gohan. I'm like, you couldn't feel that power? Like, what? Like, that's the thing. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's the only thing that doesn't make sense to me. So, in regards to that, I guess I'm going to give it a 4 out of a 5 star rating. So, a 4 out of a 5 star rating, uh, which is Impact Plays. Uh, review of uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero, and the other thing that that I was surprised not to see, because we know that there uh, there is an uh, uh, an anime in Japan, which is like I guess a shorter a shorter version, or like um, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, called Dragon Ball uh, Super Superhero. Let me see. Let me see. Let me look that up real quick. Uh, superhero um shorts no uh, it's giving me like actual shorts like really uh, let me let me put mini series. Mm. Oh, it's called Dragon Ball Heroes. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's the difference. Heroes. Dragon Ball Heroes is what, is what it's called. This one's Dragon Ball Hero Super Heroes. So that's the difference. That's what, like, when I saw, I'm like, isn't it supposed to be all all all, all shorts put together, like like the way uh, I did it with the, with the Frieza film? It did it. It did like the beginning of Dragon Ball Super and put it into a film. That's that's what that's what I was assuming to see, but then I realized it. The titles aren't exactly the same. I'm like, ugh, really? <laughs> Sorry, Mike. But yeah. So yeah, uh, four out of a five star rating <laughs> once again. Uh, this is. Emma plays once again. Emma plays official review of Dragon Ball Super Superheroes, and I guess uh, I guess we're gonna end it here, folks. So you guys can catch our regular broadcast of Emma Play live over at Twitch.tv backslash Emma Play, and then click on the notification bell over there, and so you'll be notified when we do go live with our playthroughs, the live recordings of the show, and even our live co streams as well, or even later on YouTube. Or even on your favorite podcast platform, you simply search for the Impact Play. So, however you consume your content, wherever you consume it, we are there. So, when you do search for the Impact Play, there's all one reward, folks. We're on social media, we're on YouTube, we're on like literally every platform. So, you can literally search for us. So, thank you guys so much for making us a part of your day. If you guys, uh, want to join our Discord? Be sure to do so in the about pages of our Twitch and our YouTube channels and what have you. The link is all there. So guys, we're trying to log subs over on Twitch and we need your help. So it is September now, uh, where you get is where you get a discount on uh, uh, subscribing. 
So go ahead and hit the follow button. Uh, join us when we go live so we can finally unlock, unlock subs here in September. That is our one uh, focus call in this month. So leave us a review. I'm just reading it on your favorite platform. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. For uh, this will uh, uh, this will be a timed exclusive for our tier two supporters and above. Uh, for everyone else, it will be available later on on YouTube.com as well as your favorite podcast service. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great one, and until next time, folks. Bye.